Well, Kim, Mike, I was at the Rhode Island State House today where legislators were testing out e-bikes, which use lithium ion batteries. But officials tell us improperly charging and storing these batteries can make them a hazard for you and for firefighters. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty big deal. Lithium ion batteries were the culprit in a fire yesterday in New Bedford, which displaced six people. Officials tell us these fires produce higher temperatures and spread more quickly, which can prove to be deadly. So that is an added uh, issue for us with response times, like how quick we get there, what stage the fire is at. Gray teaches a course on lithium ion battery fires and says people must handle this equipment with care to stay safe. When you go to purchase any of these lithium ion battery powered devices, e-mobility or even your gaming systems, make sure that they're UL listed. UL certification means the product is safe to use. E-bikes are also equipped with these batteries and sellers also agree you should avoid buying products that aren't UL certified. There's nothing to give like any confidence in their quality. Like I don't know where they're from, so I don't trust these no-name batteries I'll see on internet bikes at times. Companies like Mission Electric Bike, Trek, and Legend Bicycle were on hand at the State House today. Sellers telling us the bikes have safety features and it's important to only use the charger that comes with the bike. Now the Central Falls Battalion Chief gave us an important safety tip. Don't charge lithium ion batteries near exits in your home. That's so you can escape in case of a fire. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.